In this demo, we're going to see how we can use an Arduino to control a blower fan using Simulink. To show this control, we're going to make a ping pong ball levitate inside of a tube. Here's a short clip of the demo in action to give you an idea of what it does. In terms of software, we're going to need MATLAB, Simulink, and the Simulink support package for Arduino. In terms of hardware, we're going to need an Arduino Mega, a USB A to B cable, a blower fan, an infrared sensor, and all of the other supporting hardware components listed on this slide. Here's a picture of our fan and tube setup. As you can see, the IR sensor is at the top of the tube, the tube is made out of three 3D printed parts all connected together, and the blower fan is at the bottom of the tube. Additionally, there's a 3D printed part which holds the blower fan in the upright position. If you do not already have the Simulink support package for Arduino, you can get to it by going to Add-ons and clicking on Get Hardware Support Packages. Here's a circuit schematic for our fan setup. The positive terminal of the battery will go to the positive side of the blower, and the negative terminal of the battery will be connected to ground. Analog pin 3 of the Mega will be connected to the output pin of the IR sensor. PWM pin 8 will be connected to the gate of the MOSFET along with a 1K resistor. The source of the MOSFET will be connected to ground, and the drain of the MOSFET will be connected to the negative side of the fan. Here is the Simulink model for our setup. There are two main modes that can control our blower fan, manual mode and PID mode. To change between which mode you want to use, you can click on the manual switch in the model. Let's start by jumping into manual mode. In manual mode, the speed of the fan is determined by the value of this knob. The higher the value of the knob, the faster the fan will go. The numerical value of the knob can be seen in the slider game block here. Now let's go into PID mode. This is where we will use the IR sensor readings to determine the fan speed. In PID mode, you're going to enter your desired height in this block here, and then the PID controller is going to alter the fan speed so that the ball hovers at the given height. The PID does this by trying to minimize the discrepancy between the desired height and the actual height. The actual height of the ball is determined by taking the raw IR sensor data and scaling it to a more meaningful value in this subsystem here. In order for the PID to accurately control the speed of the fan, you'll need to adjust the three knobs for proportional, integral, and derivative gain. A really good way to do this is by running the model in external mode. In order to do that, we're going to go to the top and select external mode. In external mode, Simulink is going to generate code which is going to control our hardware. However, we will still be able to tune our parameters and monitor our system real time. Now that we are running in external mode, let's try controlling our fan in manual mode. As you can see, as I increase the gain of the knob, the height of the ball increases, and as I decrease the value, the height of the ball decreases. Now let's try PID mode. We're going to set our desired height to be 15 centimeters, and we're going to start by increasing our proportional gain. If the proportional gain does not cause the ball to hover, a good thing to try is increasing the integral gain. As you can see, as we adjust our gain values, you see the actual height of the ball changing, both in Simulink and in the real world. If your ball seems to bounce up and down, that probably means that your integral gain is not high enough for your given proportional gain. One thing to note is that the desired height that we entered is actually the distance of the ping pong ball from the infrared sensor. While in external mode, we could also change our desired height. Once you've tuned all of your parameters, you could deploy this demo to the Arduino by clicking on the Deploy to Hardware button. What this will do is it will generate code like it did in external mode. However, the main difference is that you will be able to run the demo without being connected to a computer. One thing to note is that with the model shown in this video, you cannot alter your desired height once you are deployed to hardware. You could easily change the model to take in an additional input from something like a potentiometer to address this. There you have it. 
This is how you can use the Simulink support package for Arduino to control a blower fan with a PID. Thanks for watching.